ResortLoop.com is proud to be sponsored by Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. And Bob, have you heard about this new contest? I have. This is one of the greatest things I think that Joffrey's is doing. Um, it's the flavor originator journey um, where you get to pick the flavors. Right. They've already, this thing's fantastic. They've already narrowed down the flavors. Now they're looking for a name. What, the, what, what flavors do they have? Uh, the flavors are going to be uh, the Roast Master. We know him, Mr. Chris, know De- Chris DeMezzo. They've selected chocolate and glazed donut for the new flavor oh. ingredients. So all you need to do is go to resortloop.com slash Joffrey's Contest, and it'll take you right to the form you need to enter and get this, Bob. Have you seen this? you see what the five random participants are going to get? I did. They're going to uh, receive a very sweet deal as a reward, I should say, as Joffrey says, a free bag of Joffrey's coffee every month for a year. Sweet. You can't beat that. Everybody just go to resortloop.com slash Joffrey's contest. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. As you enter, please slide across the seat to allow room for those who may follow. And please be sure your hands and legs are away from open doors. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collar. This is ResortLoop.com. Bob. Tim. This is one of your favorite shows every month. Every month. Every single month. And Listen, Tim. Yes. This one's special. Wow. Because you know how you know how I love to rant. I do. I absolutely love to rant. I love to hear so you much rant. To rant about. That's why I come up with the news stories. I like to poke the bear. Yeah. The, but but here's the thing. Yes. I'm not the bear this time. There's no. a new bear in town. And there she is. I find the whole thing grizzly. I'll be honest. Wow. I'm full grizzly on this episode. We're just going to tell uh, the bear course. facts, and we'll see how this As- goes. As they can all hear, Tim, <laughs> yes. what show is this? This is the DVC Roundtable. This is for July 2018. Joining July us today. 2018. 2018. Wow. I know. Joining us on the Roundtable, we have uh, Rebecca Toon. Also known as Elastigirl. It's true. Apparently, yes. We'll not delve into why. Uh, <laughs> no. That was a whole different conversation earlier in the week. And also, our Mr. Incredible, Brad Coates. Hey, there you go. How about that? Hey, <laughs> excellent. 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 So uh, we're going to delve into this right out of the gate. Let's just uh, go. Who's, who's got that first story? It's not me. It's Brad. I story. believe that would be the, the third mystery person in the room. <laughs> <laughs> by, the way, <laughs> by the way, we, 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 we need to spend a little bit of time of picking on our uh, cohorts that, that, that left us to do this without Abandoned them. Abandoned us. Right. In our yes. time of need. Joe Quattrochi is traveling. You couldn't fly some other time of the day. Hello. There's <laughs> lots of airlines. Where are your priorities, Joe? Right. And Emily. Really? Has anybody seen Emily? We cannot Do you find think the three kids is wallet. a good excuse not to be on this show? <laughs> my guess is, my because the kids are now a little bit older, they've kind of taken over the house. Uh, oh, I thought you were going to say they've taken right. her to the bar. <laughs> well, they, they may have her tied up in the basement. They, it may, you know. That's true. Too. They got big enough. Some, the zone defense isn't working now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, her and her hubby are outnumbered now. So <laughs> we don't know what's going to happen here because uh, we've had gremlins going in and out the entire time we've tried to. That's uh, right. It's to been the show together. Oh. I feel like an apology in advance would not be a bad thing. Right. Yeah. Right. We are sorry. We should just air that before the show all the time. We should just move through <laughs> this as quickly and painlessly as we should. Like one of those, feel like one of those drug advertisement disclaimers. <laughs> if, well, one of us. Tim, Tim, I, I didn't even hear the train go off the tracks. Did you? I mean, it just. <laughs> yeah. It, you never it hear it until it's too late. You never hear it until it's too late. They start that way. Yeah. Just, it went off just the put the train in the dirt I mean, and see what happens. Exactly. <laughs> what you got, Brad? All right. Story number one tonight is uh, kind of cool. They're doing a special offer for Hong Kong Disneyland. And I have to be honest, I don't remember seeing uh, any real specials. I've, I've seen some ticket specials over the years at Disneyland Paris and Tokyo, but I've never seen any, like, stay discounts. But they're doing one uh, through March 29th. 
Uh, I'm sorry. I, I saw discounts, but I didn't see anything for DVC before. But anyway, this one's for Hong Kong Disneyland. Uh, now through March 29th, 2019, members can stay for if they stay three consecutive nights, then they can they can do it for the price of two at any of the three Hong Kong Disneyland Resort hotels. So you get one night free for a three night stay. Wow. Uh, valid. It's valid for check in dates most days through March 29th. And uh, there are some blackout dates. You'll have to, to look it up uh, on the DVC site. But here's some. there is some important details you need to know about the stay. If you're interested in trying this, um, guests who reserve three consecutive, ni- three consecutive nights um, using reservation points at Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel, Disney Explorers Lodge, or Disney Hollywood Hotel, the room rate of the third night will be free of charge. So... Basically, the way it sounds is they'll charge you points for the first two nights, and then the third night they won't charge you points. Um, the three nights accommodation must be in the same category of the same hotel, so you can't you can't hop, uh, and you can't change room categories within the hotel. So try to do a cheaper room for the two, first two nights and get a nice one the third night. Nice try. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. Can we do that? Yeah, no. Yeah. <clears throat> the offer is not valid with the third night stay falling on December 23rd through January 2nd. Uh-huh. So no I'm trying to be tricky with it to time it right so you get the free night when it, the, the price goes up for the holiday. For the Hong Kong Christmas. Once again, nice try. <laughs> hey, nope. yeah, you got to put this stuff It's a drug disclaimer. You got to put it all in because you know, <laughs> I was going to say – I do a third arm, and I know it's because of that ibuprofen. I know. Nope. <laughs> well, well. Anyway, the offer cannot be used in conjunction with any other promotions or discounts, as, as usual, and then uh, no change of guest name is allowed under any circumstances. So who you put in is the people who can stay. And it is, of course, uh, subject to availability and limits on the number, type, and features of the benefits that are located there. What's what's right. happening February fifth through the ninth that that's blacked out? I'm just curious. Do you know? Well, that's true. I didn't read that part. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, there's not a like a Hong Kong Disney race. race, is there? Yeah, I think there's they're doing a Hong Kong Disney race this time. Hopefully, oh, there you yeah, go. I think that's what it is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I, hey, I think that's what it is. Yeah, but uh, this is their uh, that would be like their winter, I suppose. But uh, I, I don't think their winter gets as cold as uh, like. Um. Northeast United States, but uh, maybe that's their downtime. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but I can yeah, I'm guessing that that's a Run Disney because I do remember seeing something on that. They're going to have a, a, a Run Disney for 19 for a new park for a European park. So maybe that was it. Ah, well, that would certainly be a good blackout time because those rooms are hot as anything right now. Interesting. Yeah. So what about the, the this whole the offer cannot. You can't change the guest name is allowed under any circumstances. Is that like if you wrote a book the two nights and give someone else the free night? You couldn't do that. That's probably it. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to cover all the bases. Boy, they really are loophole um, covered. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, loophole conscious. Well, yes. Okay. You know, these are okay. Disney fans, and they are known. <laughs> We have yeah, so I, I, and I don't know what the average point per night is on those DVC, but I mean, on average, you're looking at 400 bucks per night. So that's, I mean, that's a fair amount of money if you were to sort of yeah. wiggle your way into a loophole. So I can understand why they would do it. Sure. Wow. Hmm. Awesome. I, anybody here been to the Hong Kong Disneyland? I'm just curious. No, I have. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Last <laughs> week. <laughs> Last week. <laughs> Once in a while. Oh, I'm here now. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, that's that's why there's uh, we tried problems to, we with tried my to audio. We tried to this last year, and we, we weren't able to pull it off. But yeah, I've only done the in-state parks, and then okay. been to Aulani, but I've never been to the. Okay, that one's definitely. I, I think it'd be a neat park to visit. Oh, it yeah, looks absolutely. beautiful from the pictures. So, right. awesome. Right. All right, loopers, if you're going to Hong Kong Disney, let us know, please. Yeah, see if anybody uh, if anybody we're takes totally advantage stalk of that. You. Love to find out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, um, I'm not quite sure how I want to read this title yet, so I'm going to read it twice, and you can choose at the end of the story how you want to read it. All right. So I'm either going to read it as Inspirado teams with Disney, 
Uh-huh. Or I'm going to read it as Inspirato teams with Disney. I'm leaning that so way. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to go. So mm. in case you're not aware, Inspirato is a luxury hospitality company. So they manage staff and maintain a very exclusive collection of vacation homes. So when the beautiful people go away... And they want to stay in the beautiful accommodations. This is sort of someone who would manage those accommodations and they make sure that um, they have everything they need. They manage the um, cleaning. They make sure that everything is perfect from start to finish, so to speak. They book your meals. They book your transportation. All of those things that you would expect from a concierge point of view, they're responsible for. So they have recently partnered with Disney and they announced that it, they have teamed up with DVC to offer vacation options for Inspirato members. And Inspirato is a membership-based sort of company. Um, the new announcement includes Walt Disney World Resort accommodations, Adventures by Disney, and the Disney Cruise Lines. So Inspirato members can stay in Cascade Cabins, a part of Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Disney World's Rinse Lodge. Um, and they staying in Cascade Cabins provides guests incredible access to the four Walt Disney World Resort theme parks, including the extra magic events uh, where guests can enjoy select attractions as one of the four Walt Disney theme park opens early or extends their hours later and during select dates the extra magic hours benefit also may be offered to their water parks. Also included is complimentary shuttle bus transportation to the four Walt Disney theme parks to Disney water parks, Disney Springs and Orlando International Airport. I don't know if you're listening to the same thing I'm listening to but everything I just read is exactly what you get if you stay at the All-Stars. You also get transportation to all these (laughs) parks. So pardon me if I am not really super excited about this. Now Um, now luckily, luckily Beyonce and Jay Z listen to our show, so th- this will this will help them out. I, I'm t- I'm t- I'm just saying that Tay Tay is notes. definitely paying attention to me right now. <laughs> so, as with any Inspirato vacation, members have concierge to help plan and schedule VIP tours, nature experiences, dining reservations, and other special touches. Also, don't forget theme park admission is required. <laughs> so, um. While this is an announcement, I do not know that it is incredibly newsworthy because I feel like it is sort of a third party broker that maybe you don't need if this is what you're doing. I mean, even, um, for instance, if I use a broker to rent DVC points, um, they will set up the dining plan for me. They will manage my um, Magical Express. They will make sure I have park tickets. I mean, up up and until the only thing they really don't do, but travel agents do, is um, help out with booking um, meals and um, certain VIP experiences. And we all know that you can do that independently if you want. Now, unless they have some ability to book those if they are full, I'm not entirely sure what the benefit to using Inspirato is. That's my opinion. I went ahead and uh, in researching for tonight, I went ahead and signed up. You, you, when you go to Inspirato's site to get any real numbers or, or get down deeper into it, they just kind of give you a surface information. You have to register, so I went ahead and registered. I've already gotten their email. They want to know when we can chat so <laughs> I can become a member. Membership, uh, you, you, you can become a member with Inspirato on different levels, and basically what it sounded like was for your membership, you get a book earlier. There's a few other things included in, but but it wasn't anything that jumped out at me. But I think the entry level membership was ten thousand dollars. Sure. Second level was twenty five thousand dollars, and the ultimate membership was thirty five thousand dollars. Here's the weird thing: when you're looking at these houses, the, the the rest of the properties that Inspirato offers, they're all over the world, and they're usually these gorgeous uh, mansion style, you know, mm-hmm. huge. Resort-looking homes that are three to four thousand square foot minimum, um, and then they then they the, you can they offer concierge service. So if you're staying like in Aspen, well, that's good because then they're helping you book things to go out to do dinners and all of that. 
you can uh, call them and set up and you can actually hire a, a chef. They'll line up a chef to come cook for you. They have house cleaning that comes and cleans your house every day as well as do your dishes. You know, that's nice. But I'm with you. Okay, that makes sense if I'm staying in this. And mm-hmm. and, and and I looked at one of them. I, I really, because most of them I couldn't get a price to ever come up. I finally got one to pop up sometime, not even during ski time, just in the middle of downtime in Aspen. Gorgeous home, 4,000 4, square feet. Could sleep, I think it was 14 people. It was huge. $1,700 a night. Ooh. Ooh. Which I guess if I had 14 people sure. in there. That's, you that's know, compar- yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If everybody's know, paying, okay. And if I'm and if I'm the wealthy of the wealthy, and I'm looking to have somebody come and pamper me every day at my at my house and come be my my maid every day, basically is what you're getting is true maid service. That all makes sense. But for Disney to the partnership with staying at the Wilderness Lodge, those cabins are incredible. These are the fancy cabins that are down on the water that are like the mm-hmm. the ones that uh, um, they're beautiful. At, to Polynesia. By the way. Yeah, oh yeah, gorgeous. I, um, I have a feeling and very this, expensive, but still, come I on. I have a feeling really? this is a two-way reputation agreement. I think Inspirato yeah. likes to say and be able to advertise that they have property on Disney, and I think Disney likes to be able to advertise that they partner okay. with Inspirato uh, because I think they attract different audiences both ways. And I think it expands their digital footprint, which I think is amazing for them. But I don't, if you're an actual true fan and are kind of, you know, educated in how to book a trip, I don't know that this is the best way to do it. Yeah. And I think the only thing that's really included in this partnership is the literally the fact that Inspirato can use DVC properties, but they rent them out for cash. There's no special connection for DVC owners to be able to, to, to partner into Inspirato like you can with RCI. So mm-hmm. it's kind of, to me, it's like, well, great. So you're using up some of the cabins that mm-hmm. supposedly people have paid for points to own that part of that ownership, you know, and now there's less for them to get into. I would fuss, except for it's the cabins, which I'm never going to get to stay in anyway. So <laughs> 600 so, points a night, I'm good. I'm so let me ask it. you I'm this fine. question, Brad. Do you think that, all right, so they're sort of a broker. So, for instance, I know that our the brokers that I go through to rent points only have access because DVCs are broken down into cash rooms and point rooms, correct? Correct. Well, there, um, there's always a number yes. of things that they have to reserve yes. back for, for cash-paying members. Okay. Unless the resort is 100% sold out. Okay. But then they they revert to cash rooms after I think six months. Okay. So in other words, then if nobody's booked them, they can start to rent them out. That's the way it works. Okay. So so I guess my question then only becomes: Do you think Inspirato only has access to those point based rooms, or do they also have access to the cash based rooms? Because there is a world in which I can see because point based rooms through brokers and and renting points has become very competitive. I mean, it's yeah. it's just like owners sometimes have trouble booking during those more um, popular times, so do renters. So if they had access to rent those, I mean, I guess you would still be paying the same rack rate that you would pay if you were booking through Disney though, no? Uh, well, I would think yeah, and here's the thing, I would think it would most likely work for them the same way that it does for any other um, company that's selling on cash basis. Mm-hmm. The, the, the ones that are not sold out, that are still uh, that are still cash rooms, they could sell now, you know, a year in advance or whatever that Disney would allow them. The other ones that are point ones that are, that are locked out because they've sold points that represented those rooms, they wouldn't be able to, uh, Inspirato wouldn't be able to rent those until okay. six months out, I would think. Okay. Yeah. That, I, logically, that makes sense too. I was just curious. So, I hope so. Actually, because, like and I, I said, actually learned something new because I didn't know about the six month rule. So that's very cool. Yeah, and and, and I mean, I I don't I couldn't go to the bank on the six month number. I just know that it's they go past the seventh month because they give them a little bit of time for those that, that can book in the seventh month window, and then once they've all had a chance to book a room after a reasonable amount of time, which I thought was thirty days, then. 
they can begin to convert those into cash rentals. Cool. That's how it works. Oh. All right. Okay. That's interesting. Um, I'm sorry. I stopped, I stopped listening when you said $10,000 membership. What, what, what's this about now? Yeah. Um, so, if you pay $10,000, then you can then spend $10,000 to rent a room at a DVC. <laughs> so, here's, here's the thing. Okay, is that your, was that your rant, Rebecca? You gotta, you gotta step up the rant. Bob, I am a very genteel ranter. I am from the South. Oh. <laughs> oh bless your heart. <laughs> Bless his heart. Yeah. Bob's All right. now. He was so, he was so, pop, popcorn and everything. <laughs> I'm gonna yell right. at you, but I'm gonna give listen. you some sweet tea with it. <laughs> we, listen, we we, <laughs> we promised a rant. Oh, okay. <laughs> go, go for it, Bob. Go for it. All right, so here's the deal. Okay, I get it. I, I love it. when you start any sentence with "Here's the deal." <laughs> It's my favorite phrase. And here it comes. <laughs> so, so listen, listen. I I understand. Okay, Disney's like, listen. We can we can team up with this Inspirado, which sounds like a Disney villain. At any rate, <laughs> Desperado. So we can team up with these. Is it? I don't know. So anyway, we're going to team up. With, <laughs> we're going to team up with these guys because they're going to bring in. The, the high rollers. If you're in Vegas, you know what I'm so- talking about. Huh? Where they're going to bring in the right. high rollers. Right. They're going to give us a ton of money, except for the fact that Inspirado, the villain's going to take some of that money. Right. Yep. They got to be getting some of it. So My- is it is it a wash for Disney to do this with with these guys? I Could they do it themselves? I think they have a chance to rent rooms that they're not able to rent right now. Just like Brad said, he said, I don't care that they're the cabins because I'm never going to stay in them because I'm not spending the points for them. Okay. But, so but maybe I, this well, is they, And I was trying to, to get in there and I couldn't. And I knew Inspirado could rent them out. could rent them out for cash. Then I'd be mad. Okay. Right. <laughs> then I'd be mad. Here, that wasn't there even the rant. Go. That wasn't even the rant. Here's the rant. Why? <laughs> Why are they, are again... You know, and I, you guys know, I love Disney with uh, almost every fiber of my being. But why are we constantly seeing an upper echelon tier of Disney? Yeah, it's sad. Why are we? we, we why? Are what is going on? Yeah. You know, and <sighs> I, I'm not. I'm not saying they're doing everything wrong. I love the. You know what they're going to be doing with these new DVC resorts. You know the Rio and, but. And, and over at uh, uh, Coronado. But when you look down the street and you you see that they're building affordable accommodation exactly. and nice down ones. the street. And then this is this is what Disney is promoting that. Oh, you know, this is for the ultra ultra rich. Yeah, I don't, I'm just saying. But does all like I still here's what I still feel in my being. Does ultra ultra rich translate to ultra ultra stupid? Because even if I was ultra ultra rich, I could book the exact same thing they're telling me they'll book for me for probably less money because I'm not paying the ten thousand dollar fee to join Inspirado. And if I just want to pay someone to travel with me, I'm going to pay somebody three thousand dollars to travel with me and cook and clean up after me. How about exactly. that? Exactly. Like it, it's it's so illogical thing. to me. Let's let's be let's be real here. The ultra ultra rich contact their people to yes. book all of this stuff for them. So they're just showing up anyway. Yes. They're not gonna they're not getting on Magical Express or whatever no. kind okay, of transportation all, yes. they're doing. Thank you, Bob. They're, no, they're, they're, they're not getting on a bus. Up. You know, yeah. they're flying into Orlando Executive, not into MCO. <laughs> they're Absolutely. they're taking a limo Absolutely. and they're they're staying they're staying in the presidential suites over at uh, at, at the Flo. Beach Club or yeah. the or the boardwalk that are mm-hmm. Amazing. Yeah, one of their one of their resorts is Astoria Waldorf. For yes, right. For- and then you you have that. This makes no sense to me. Here's yeah. what I would like to happen. I would like for the ultra ultra rich Looper Nation to post <laughs> on Facebook. All two of them. <laughs> Cut us a check. <laughs> and let us your know and if they would book them. this, and then also let me know if they would like me to come and cook for them and clean. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> because um, I'm totally will... down for this. <laughs> All right. One now thing we've I had... will say on yeah. Bob, one th- just one last thing on it that, that I do remember seeing on there, which I could see that might be the only reason why people that are in Inspirato might feel it was a benefit to try to do this, and that is because in their membership, it creates the opportunity for them to book sooner if they're actual members. Right. So, if if I, I it seemed to me like it was up to like. Um, maybe even eighteen months in advance. Okay, if can you just members, which I'm sure it is. So if you can book twelve months out, they could book eighteen what? months out. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Well, if you well, the thing is, if you own, or if you got somebody that owns there that would rent out points, which won't be cheap. Mm-hmm. Um, it would be. Um, you could do it at eleven months. Okay. If somebody was just trying to do it oh, gotcha, through gotcha. for means, it would be seven months. But if they own within the company the way it sounds, they're going to go ahead and let them book within their booking window depending on their membership. I, I don't know and that and for I guess sure. the other side of this is if you are a corporate person or an ultra, ultra rich looper and you already belong to Inspirato, like maybe your company right. pays for this because you do a lot of traveling, this may be a nice bonus. This may be a nice add-on. Oh, hey, guess what else we can do? Yep. That's true. Yeah, okay, I yeah. Think. Family membership lets you book uh, 12 months in advance. But okay. see, that's that's a one-month advantage. And let's be honest. It's kind it's of like poly. It's like, uh, and it's like the poly. They're, those ones are never booked out. Well, that's These the other side of it. Nobody's racing to the cabin. Yeah, no, that's they're actually not. an amazing it's point. It's too yeah. expensive. Yeah, so no, right. rarely during the year that that you can't just get pick some rooms. I mean, yeah. four months out and be able to get them. Instead of joining Inspirato, you go see uh, Brad or me, and we'll hook you up and only charge you a grant. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I'll rent you some points. <laughs> Tim, oh. edit that part out and put our names in. <laughs> I'll, we'll do that. Absolutely. That's Pop House yeah, yeah. One Hundred and One. <laughs> travel. <laughs> and they won't charge you a ten thousand dollar fee. Right? Hello. Now you Hello. do have to travel with Bob and Tim. True. But- <laughs> That's true. And and we well, look great you see in their a- cooking show. They'll cook for you. That's true. We, yes. we look great in maids' uniforms. But <laughs> I look adorable. I I'm going to go. I'm going to go right out on the limb and say not so much. I've seen no. you in your apron. Cooking no. show, wow! But I just thought you cook. For <laughs> you. <laughs> we would. We'd cook home. We'd cook all of our recipes. I know yeah. they're good. Go. They look good. I love it. Good plan. All right, all right. Well, uh, see now, Rebecca. That's how you do a rant. Listen, Bob. All Boom. I can say is I'm still learning. Okay. <laughs> and you have to wag your wag your index finger when you're doing it. Uh, you gotta wag. Is that what I was doing? That, oh, listen. That, listen, that's when you wag listen. it. Okay, see, the problem is it's hard to wag my finger when I'm holding tequila because it sloshes out of the glass. <laughs> that's true. We don't want that. Don't do that. Uh, so that's the problem. She's yeah. um, she's feeling jovial. And she she can do that. But I want, I want the truth now, and I want the truth from you. You have stir, stirred your tequila with your finger, haven't you? Oh, absolutely. Why not? <laughs> Of course. <laughs> a little ice spinning around there. A little ice. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I don't put ice in my tequila. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oof. Oof. If you want ice in your tequila, go see Javier at La Cava. He'll be happy to accommodate you. <laughs> yeah, I'll put there. I see where you go. All right. Okay. Okay. And I, if there's something else to talk about, I guess we will. But <laughs> there is. Brad has something for us. Hey, Brad, what's he, what you got? So uh, they, they've announced a change. Uh, you know, the Moonlight Magic uh, special offerings for DVC members where you get to go in uh, uh, after hours and spend time in the parks as a perk for being a DVC owner. Well, they've made one change in that particular moon, in the Moonlight Magic programs re- regarding food. Um, in the past, you would be able to go in during these hours and you had an unlimited food and snacks during your during that set aside for DC members. However, during that free food was a limited menu. It was, you know, they kept it to corn dog, hot dogs, corn chicken nuggets, you know, the inexpensive kind of stuff. Nothing wasn't anything fancy. But what they've done is they've changed it now to where instead of just getting 
unlimited food and snacks, you get meal vouchers. You get a meal voucher, and with the meal voucher, it provides um, what was an entree, a side dish, and a non-alcoholic beverage at select uh, theme park restaurants. So while it does limit the amount of food that you will eat, now it opens up the menu because uh, by the sounds of things, they're going to have the standard menus in those particular restaurants where it's at. So you'll have a lot more variety that you can pick from. And you'll still get a free meal. You'll get the entree and side dish and, and a beverage. So um, instead of unlimited, you get a, a full meal, but you get more options. Um, in the case of Epcot, for example, the vouchers are valid for use at Electric Umbrella. Um, Sunshine Seasons, which means, wow, your variety that you can get there is you know, off the charts. Mm-hmm. Um, Yorkshire County, uh, County Fish Shop. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, Liberty Inn and Midnut Midnatsal Bakery. Yeah, you'll have to do your French to help me with that one or whatever that is. Midnatsal Gesundheit. Yeah, God bless, God bless you. <laughs> I don't know. M i d n a t t s s o l. Either that or, or Tim wrote this and he was stuttering at the time. I don't know. <laughs> that's how. No, nah, listen. Hey, listen. That's how he writes <laughs> the, the recipes. Oh, finger, that's how, finger, that's oh. how he writes the words in when I'm reading them. That's why I can't read them. Yeah, I write words <laughs> with Thank syllables. Brad. Words with syllables and vowels. Purpose. Come on. All in you out. <laughs> Please. So, but anyway. as you can see, there's some. Pretty good restaurants there, and a lot of variety. You know, the, the fish you get the fish and chips. You That's get awesome. The sunshine seasons, electric umbrella, and you'll get a, you'll get a full meal. So, um, ice cream novelties, including the Mickey Premium ice cream bars, are still freely available to guests throughout the event. Hey. So you still can get the those the snack part of it, but the meal part is is limited. Nice. Yeah. So. That's it. It looks I mean, to me I like it. Yeah, the choices are great. Yeah. But these are just select nights, right? This isn't the... Right. These are, the Moonlight Magics are select nights just for DVC members. You'll find it on the DVC site, on the, your membership site, when they're offering them. They do them different times at, different, at, at, a, at a, on one park at a time. Um, at have this you particular, been to one of these, Brad? I haven't. I was thought I was going to be able to do it on my last trip, but it just didn't fall right for them. Um, do the they day. sell out quickly? They do sell out quickly. Yeah. yeah, you need to. You need to. Uh, oh, I don't even know how to guess what the what the amount of time it normally is. But I can tell you, if you're if you're waiting till you're ready to go on your trip to take a look and see, you waited too long. Probably too late. Yeah. yeah. It's a, it's a very like neat park. I think it's a there. great park. Oh, it's phenomenal! Think about it. You get in the park for extra hours, and then instead of paying like most people will pay for a Christmas party or something to pay. You know, almost as much as going in the park for a few yeah, hours. Definitely. We get it for free. Yeah. We get a meal, we get time in the park, all that and it's free for And I've seen I've center. seen pictures recently from some of these Moonlight Magic events and it, it's it's an amazing evening and the crowds are absolutely minimal. And it there's such a, a like everyone that I've, you know, read reports of that have been have had nothing but good things to say. Yeah, they're really it's, cool. it's nice that it's stre- spread out throughout the year too. It's not like oh, you're yeah. only going to be able to do it on this particular weekend out of the year. So if you go at a different time, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's they, really nice. That's, they started that's good. doing them. They were, yeah, when they were first doing them, it was real limited. It was like, oh, come on, guys. But now it's 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 almost systematic. It's like oh, every couple of months, it, it'll be in an Animal Kingdom, then it's over in Epcot, and it's over. And is this one of those? And now it's one- they're doing the glow glow light water park one. Yes, which is really, I saw that. That looks like a lot of fun. That looks so. like a lot of fun. Is this limited to only those who bought through Disney, or is this resale as well? Do you know? Oh, that I'm not sure. Uh, no, I'm confident that this is one. Anything that has to do with perks like this, this is, is a limited to. Yeah, limited, yeah. But again, yeah, those, if you bought resale but bought like a small contract through Disney, you're still eligible for those perks. So, yeah. Not anymore with the new change. Now, or you got to buy a bigger contract. Yeah, it's a bigger it. contract. I think it used to be. You still do it. Well, it used to be I like think it was 25 points. points. Now it's 75, I think. Yeah, okay. I think it's 75, yeah. Wow. That's, a, that's a pretty big jump, actually. Yeah. And I bought my second contract when it was grandfathered in, so I just don't watch a lot of that because mm-hmm. both of my contracts, I, I it works. Well, so. <clears throat> I think when you're looking, when you're weighing uh, Disney Direct through. 
you know, versus resale, I think it's interesting to take a look at. It is no. And, and, and you have to remember that those parks are not guaranteed. They won't always be there, but it is an interesting comparison. The, if we have regular guys that listen to our show, they've heard us talk about this over the months, that, that um, DVC has been on a, on a good, steady incline on perks. Mm-hmm. Doing a better job, offering more things, more variety. I think it's because of this show, they've been listening to us. I'm yeah. sure. That's right. I'm sorry. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> I have no doubt. I always knew I was a legend in my own mind, but I just couldn't <laughs> <laughs> <else> notice. So. <laughs> but yeah, but it, but it does. I you know, it, and obviously you know, we got we got to know some of that is strictly because they know. We want to generate direct sales. We're right. Gonna limit well, what I you think can they're building manage. more, so they want to sell more. So they're like, yep. well, let's make them feel valued and appreciated. And yeah, no. Yeah. Anyway, but it's it's a neat little perk. I wish one of these days I could manage it. There, the ones if people are interested in doing something like this, the remaining dates for 2018: um, August 15th at Epcot, September 19th, and the 26th. And October 3rd at Disney Hollywood Studios. Ooh. And then um, November 15th at uh, Disney's California Adventure out in uh, out in Disney. Those ones at Hollywood nice. Studios with the new Toy Story Land is Yep. And that's prime. really important. They're doing it. Yeah. That's, it that's they create more after hours to get people off the ground. Oh, my goodness. Can you imagine being in it, Moonlight Magic in Hollywood Studios? On one of those, especially in October when the weather's kind of nicer and oh yeah, oh, that'd be awesome. Man, that would be yeah. primo. Now, it's how do you awesome. how do you book one if if you are a DVC member, Brad? How do you go about? Do you book through the DVC website? How do you what do you do to book these? Do you know? Yeah, it's you got to go to the website, but I'm pretty sure on the website it'll tell you to call member services. Okay, if I remember All right. on any so, of this hey, stuff. Any of our loopers, if you go to one of these, please post pictures. Yeah, we would love it. Please, yeah, we want to Absolutely. live vicariously through you. That's what we have to do. <laughs> we live for it, <laughs> right? Always. Go oh, to, uh, to LuperNationLive. Oh com my goodness, for, all these pictures Facebook. lately on LuperNation Live have been amazing. It's blowing up over there, it's it's really been awesome. Yeah, it's been Absolutely. a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of watching Rebecca. I'm crossing my fingers that to see if in January when we're out there and the crowds are going to be. You know how it is with with Marathon week, it's, oh, yeah. it's the crowds are bizarre. <laughs> yeah, it's like one one moment there's like you can't breathe, and the next moment it's like oh, ghost town. <laughs> I think everybody gets <laughs> really sleepy. <laughs> yeah, it's like I can't do it anymore. But I'm interested to see if they're going to offer any kind of a um, a uh, adventure tour like I did at Animal Kingdom for oh. Hollywood Studios for Toy Story Land. Oh yeah, because I would pay yeah, extra bucks. If I could do another plaid kind of a tour where I could get on everything. I love, first of all, I love the phrase plaid. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> yeah, if you're, not a, if you're not a Disney Disney fan, you're like, what in the world? Plaid's yeah, ugly. Oh, no, see. plaid's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of which, if just there are, there are at least three of the DVC Roundtable members who will be out in Disney World in January, myself, Brad, and Joe Quattrochi. I mean, like, if Emily was even talking to us right now, we might know if she was going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Tara Renee. I don't know. Maybe. But it looks like there's going to be a number of us uh, resort rocketeers out there. So, hey, let us know if you're going to be out there in January, and let's look at maybe planning a, a small meet and greet, and we'll, we'll FaceTime Bob and Tim. In our bathrobes or something. <laughs> That's awesome. What am I? Well, it was awesome. I don't know where it's going now. In our ice baths. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Bob, I think we better wrap this up. It's starting to get a little carried away. <laughs> so let us our, know if we're going to be out there for the marathon. All sweaty weekend. and ugly after the race. Absolutely. We, we want to meet everybody. So if you're going to be around for marathon weekend, even if you're not running, yeah. um, let us know. Maybe there you we go. could do a, some awesome. kind of get together at Disney Springs for. Yes. Absolutely. We've got, uh, as a matter of fact, I know that uh, next month uh, we got a couple of loopers that are uh, that are planning on getting together. They're going to be down at Disney at the same time. That's why it's so important. Get over there on the Looper Nation Live on Facebook and uh, join up. And um, you can. Yeah, you, you'll you'll find folks that are going there um, 
all the time. And uh, it's, it's, you know, why not? Why not meet these people in, in person and, and say hello? And you, you have fun talking to everybody on, online, so it's, it's even more fun. As Tim and I both know, we haven't met Brad yet personally, but <laughs> Rebecca, we have met, and it I'm was sorry. life life changing. <laughs> I'm still in therapy, but still. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna change your life, but it's not necessarily the kind of change. Nice, nice. It you know, a special shout out to Ben Fluth and his wife because I always think about them when we talk about meeting up because they met us on their they came to the the first meetup honey. that we had on their honeymoon. Yeah, oh, I remember you guys talking about that. Yeah, and his wife just um, celebrated her birthday. Um, I think it was last week, and it's always fun to see them on Facebook and just like I always get this just warm fuzzy feeling because they're just the they're the good people in this world. And Great. so everybody we met that day were amazing, but they always pop into my mind when I think about when, that. Uh, when you meet um, fellow loopers they, they do they kind of become family to you so Ooh. it's it's a great uh, it's a great feeling so make sure you uh make sure you do that look people up when uh, when they're down there and let people know when you're going to be down there so absolutely it's awesome so um, love it uh and real quick before i uh you know we're we're busting joe a little bit on not being on the show he is actually um working on a great guest for yes, the DVC roundtable yes. coming up going to be amazing. We're hoping it. to have that uh, person on next uh, next month. So. Also, I miss you, Joe. Oh, cool. And Emily. Yeah, we did you miss you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we have family. Come back. Come back. Kids, kids, let, let your mom go. Let your mom go. <laughs> Release. Take the duct tape off her mouth, please. <laughs> <laughs> it, I don't know. Maybe it's her husband. <laughs> Um, and, and one last thing, uh, we have a special announcement that we're going to be uh, letting folks, uh, Looper Nation, know about uh, that uh, Tim and I did in in honor of Looper Nation. But yes. uh, we're gonna, we're going to tease that, and we're going to we're going to save that. Uh, Not fair! Uh, <laughs> so people out there in Looper Nation, know. they never yeah, tell us. They don't let us in. Them up after like the show and make them tell us. They keep us in the loop, out of the loop too. They're mean. Let's. To us. <laughs> let's just say, let's this. Here's the tease for you. Um, our our um, how we feel about Looper Nation and uh, and the fact that you guys are so fantastic um, is gonna is is uh, we're we're willing to. I I, I can't even say it. I can't say it. Tim, are you like, I'm, gonna it, I'm gonna let it out. If I don't, don't, yeah, don't say it. No, Lay it on the deck. Stay tuned. Next weekend, mm. there's just going to be a sky rider. On the- <laughs> uh, feel free. Set yourself free. It's, uh, uh, it, it'll it'll be uh, it'll 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 be a uh, uh, never mind. Guys, All right, so uh-huh. Tim. Uh, yes. Anyone go to sleep right until we know what's happening. That's- <laughs> That is all I've got. Everybody, thanks for uh, joining us. Absolutely. I'm Tim Scott. Facebook, Twitter, the website, resortloop.com. Rebecca, where can people find you quickly? Oh, my goodness. I am everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, BeccaBerry73. Come and find me. Come and say hello. I'd love to chat. How about you, Brad? Uh, Papa Mouse One on Twitter, although I I don't follow Twitter much. I I check it out, but Papa Mouse 101. Um, Hotmail, if you need to get a hold of me, Diz Dad's hanging out with those guys and always hanging out in Looper Nation Live. Sweet. Take it away, Bob. Uh, what am I supposed to say? You're the one that's, you're the one, you got to do See your everybody. thing. Don't, don't you have I something else? Said, oh. I already said my thing. Oh, so get, said. Everybody, gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com. Take it away, Bob. Uh, what am I supposed to say? You're the one. It's a, you're the one. You got to do See your everybody. thing. Don't, don't you have I something else? Said, oh. I already said my thing. Oh, so get, said. Everybody, gateway to the magic. See you, everybody. Was it that hard? Come on. <laughs> Good lord! You can't throw me off like that. Five hundred and sixty-seven <laughs> of these. Five hundred and sixty-seven of these. <laughs>